All right, so I just came back from a trip grabbing a plow and the guy had the plow listed, but nothing else. And I thought that plow was for a different machine and it wasn't. So it's actually for the Suburbans and uh, it's a mid lift snow plow, which is really cool. I only ever heard of one guy talk about this and I've never seen them. Uh, as you know, the other snow plows I never had good luck with, but this one, this one's different. So when I got there, it was, you know, had the intentions, it was for a different machine and he started bringing out other things and I'm like, oh, he didn't have those photos listed. He just had the plow. And uh, the more and more stuff he brought out, the more I realized this is a mid lift snow plow, which is really cool. So I needed one for this rig anyway. I was gonna turn that into a cab snow plow rig. So I was like, perfect, I guess I'll take it. So yeah, let's go get Corbin. Let's get this thing installed onto Lenny here and uh, go from there. Hi, I'm Alex and welcome back to another vlog day. What are we doing here? Putting that on this and putting that on. Yeah. I'm gonna make this the plow rig that I said I would. Oh, I zoomed in just in time. So yeah, this is a pretty rare thing right here. This is a mid-lift snow plow. So the alternative is this. And this is a lift-handled plow. Same thing, 46 inch snow plow. Um, this one just accepts this style instead of the other one which is much larger and this is a lift handle version of this so this mounts up front and lifts up front and uh, these things are really really heavy so when you're lifting this this is in the middle of the tractor and uh yeah doesn't fatigue you out a lot so this is the front one much bigger so yeah pretty cool um, i'm pretty happy about this so we're gonna have a nice a cab rig with a plow instead of the haven so yeah let's just get these swapped over kind of show you the process um everything here is factory i thought it, it looked a little i don't know looked like a little homemade but nope this is original so yeah then then this uh, adjusts depending on your tractor because this does fit the smaller tractors um but can also be used on there so i believe I think this end fits into here. Yeah. So this end fits into there. That end fits onto this. This end fits over here. And yeah, you have a mid lift. Actually, it goes this way. So you have a, a mid lift plow, which is awesome. So it has everything, but it even has these, the rods and everything, but it does not have the rod holder. So um, I saw the manuals. Um, I, can, I think I can replicate it. So I do have the manual on here and uh, yeah, there's the manual for that, or model number for that, and model number for that. So, yeah, kind of bought this on accident. Wasn't supposed to buy this. It was for another machine, but it ended up kind of got there, and he just had the plow out, and then he started bringing all this stuff out, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Wait, this actually might be a little more rare than I thought. So, yeah, it goes right on a, on a Suburban there, so really cool find really cool so yeah enough talking let's get this haven off and get this plow on and see how cool this is
right, so there it's on. This is, this is really nice. There's a lot of travel, like a lot. So it stays in float and then there's a click here. Wow, that's still really heavy though. And then that's there. And then you still, I gotta like take care of that. But yeah, got the rods in here. I'll get, I'll get them on a, on a thing, but you'll lift it up. And then this one you push in and then you can turn it, which turns really nice. That's straight and then that's turned. So really nice, really nice. I'm gonna fire this bad boy up. And uh, yeah, see how it plows. Let's see if it fires up. And just like that, we have a snowplow cab rig. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty rare little piece right here. Did not expect it at all. Um, I literally just saw the plow in the photos and it looked like a plow for a different machine. And uh, yeah, ended up coming with all this and I am happy to have it. Um, I needed a plow for this. I was gonna put the dozer blade on it. I was gonna make two into one there cause my dozer blade did break. It was a 46 inch. You had a option between the 42 and the 46 and then i believe this is a 46 so we're not going down in any size but uh yeah definitely having a legit snow plow was awesome so i'm excited to run this next year this year's pretty much done and when we're into spring now and i don't think we're gonna get any more snow but i'm excited to test the sears snow plow um the actual snow plow i've been running a dozer blade for the last couple years so and i've been very happy with that but i've never had the chance to run a snow plow so I'm really glad that I was able to get the snow plow that um, doesn't hurt your hand, the one that mounts, mounts and lifts in the front. That one I tried getting to work, didn't really work for me. And uh, yeah, where's your, your palm of your hand out? Uh, my hands are all black from putting the grill piece on, but I put the uh, grill piece on. So this thing looks complete, looks awesome. Um, but yeah, it hurts the palm of your hand. And uh, this one is mid lift. So the handle is right there. So that's really nice. And we'll get to test out this cab next year as well. See how we like that versus that cab. So I was gonna try to make a cab comparison video, um, but I would like to make a fair comparison and that would be to test them both in the winter. So I have winter time on that one, but I need to get some winter time with this cab and then I can make a fair comparison video. So look forward to that next year, um, probably a year from now. So yeah, um, Lenny is here to stay. The only thing I'm going to do off camera that you've seen me do is put a triple stack weight on the back of here. So this one has a little bit more of an advantage because it has a 80 pound thing of concrete hanging off the back. And usually that's not good for your transaxle, but I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it. Um, and then I'm gonna get new chains. These ones don't really fit the tires here. So I'll get a brand new set of chains for this, just like this one has a nice set of chains. So we're pretty much gonna do duplicate, except the only difference here is that this is going to have 80 more pounds of weight on the back so which you'll probably need for plowing anyway so yeah a lot of things to look forward to next year plowing with an onan for the first time and plowing with a sears snow plow for the first time so we'll get a new cutting edge on that too by the way that's another thing i'll do put a triple stack weights and new chains and that's all i'll do besides the, you know the greasing 
oil change and etc but yeah this is pretty much how this is going to stay so yeah i'm just gonna make it just like this one over here so yeah i get to test these two out for next winter so all i have is onans for next winter that's pretty cool no more single cylinder <laughs> machines that this next coming year so looking forward to that um but yeah so so far i'm liking it i do like the doors on the other cab they're easier to get in and out of this one's not so easy but i do on the other hand do like the doors on here because they're an actual door that opens so yeah besides the little things i might try to get a new canvas made for this um because it you know has some area areas where it can Get, snow can get in whereas this one is completely covered so yeah that is uh that's that so lenny is here to stay jerry is here to stay for one more year and we'll test these two out um larry in the background there is going to be sold corbin doesn't need it anymore um he's upgraded too so yeah, these two will be the signing stars for next year and i'm kind of looking forward to it so with that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed i look forward to those videos coming out next year i know i'm excited so yeah i'm looking forward to that hopefully you guys enjoyed and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next vlog day